When I say I'm a Hindu, I'm really quite satisfied with that. It's a very old religion, really timeless. Nobody knows when it started. Nobody knows who the founder was. It's a religion that survived all these centuries. Religions that were contemporary to the Hindu religion, many of them are not in existence today. The pharaohs, they had their own religions. They're not practiced today. But Hinduism, it's been surviving in spite of the various invasions. So it is a very enduring religion. There is something in there to keep the spirit alive. If you've studied, you realize that there is no religion called Hinduism. In fact, in India, there was no such word at all. This was a foreign term to say that these are the people who live in the land of the Indus River. So Hinduism really came to mean the lifestyle of the people of that subcontinent. And so in a real sense, Hinduism is that, the lifestyle of the people. I don't think any other religion has this kind of flexibility. You don't have to go anywhere. I can just sit in this spot, close my eyes and meditate and feel so satisfied with the religion. It touches your heart. I believe that the beauty of Hinduism is its unique ability to embrace all. I believe a true Hindu, not a fundamentalist, but a true Hindu, lives in the heart of all kind and good men. I believe that what Hinduism really has to offer is a spaciousness, a wonderful spaciousness that allows everyone to simply be as one is. There's room for the peasants' religion. They might not know a single word from the Vedas, but still they have a religion and they practice it. Then there is the highest scholastic thoughts written in one of the most structured, romantic, perfected languages people memorize in Sanskrit and they can talk not hours but days <laughs> debate on that. There's room for every scholar and every peasant and everyone in between. One of the prayers we say in the mornings tells you let noble thoughts enter us from all sides. This is a prayer. They're asking for good ideas. So it's quite open-minded, quite all-embracing. It's like many religions within one religion. 